So this this really is, uh, you know, we've, we've talked about a lot of features on these webinars and, and different things, and this really is a feature, this predictive planning that you're getting out of the box with, with PBCS that, that really is going to enable your users to have machine planning. Uh, really is an exciting feature that they're adding in this release. I, you know, Ryan and I both highly recommend at least playing around with it, get an idea of what it has to offer because it, it really is a powerful tool for, it can be a powerful tool for your organization and your forecasting process. So, uh, <clears throat> so moving on to other features in this release, uh, so, so one new feature that, that, that's coming out uh, on Friday, as Ryan said, is you can now update your substitution variables using the REST API commands. So uh, a lot of us must, may not know what, what this REST API means, but, but basically a REST API command is something you can do through, through a web browser where you're able to use different uh, commands or methods that they're called, such as you know, re retrieve values, update values, uh, things like that. It, uh, in the image we have here on, on this slide, we actually... Uh, there are plugins you can install on your browsers that will actually make uh, the APIs a little easier to understand. It kind of parses it out of computer language and brings it more human legible, but you can see here that it still is not extremely user-friendly to work with. Uh, you know, you need to be pretty technical to understand these commands, but, but what it does uh, show us maybe coming is what EPM Automate, which again is the utility that Oracle provides to uh, do different things such as automate your metadata loads, automate you know file loads, run calculations, different things like that. EPM Automate is is actually just a tool that will make these API calls for us. So essentially, when we see this, what we're saying is they're making additions to their API calls that they have available. This one being a substitution variable, and what it's saying is in a future release, uh, we should be able to update those substitution variables using EPM Automate. So. Uh, you know, actually going in the REST API and, and, and making those changes is likely not something that, that we would do on a regular basis, but it does point us in the direction Oracle is going where it is going to make enhancements to what EPM Automate is going to be, uh, allow us to be capable of from an automation standpoint. Mm -hmm.